This story, it's something else. A booming population of monkeys, a deadly disease and danger to humans. It sounds like something out of a Hollywood movie. It sure does, but researchers at the University of Florida say it is all happening right here in the Sunshine State. On your side, Eric Alvarez is in Ocala to explain why scientists say something needs to be done to protect families and Florida's ecosystem. I'm here on the Silver River in Ocala. It's an area popular among tourists from all over the country, but it's also home to a growing population of rhesus macaques. These monkeys carry a disease that is potentially deadly to humans. Researchers say unless something is done to control the population, there could be lasting effects to Florida's public health and public safety. Through the mist rising from the Silver River, you can hear them and you can see them. Families of non-native rhesus macaques running, playing, getting close to people. It seems like there's a lot more monkeys out here than people think there are. Tour guide Captain Debbie Walter says sometimes they get a little too close. I mean, they'll come right to the water. They're not shy. If you have food, they could be aggressive and try to board your boat. This video taken by Ocala resident JC Castillo shows his girlfriend running from one of the monkeys inside Silver Springs State Park February 12th. Thankfully, no one was hurt, but it's an encounter that under the wrong conditions could turn deadly. As University of Florida researchers discovered some of the monkeys carry herpes B and could transfer it to humans through a bite or a scratch. Very unlikely that you could contract this disease, but if you did, it's, it could be potentially lethal. Dr. Steve Johnson and a team of researchers at the Department of Wildlife, Ecology and Conservation also discovered their numbers are booming. A couple of years ago, there was probably around 175 animals within the park. We estimated that uh, by the year 2022, that population would double, be close to you know 400 animals. So how did these monkeys native to Asia end up here in Florida? The story is something straight out of Hollywood, after filmmakers used the clear water and calm conditions to shoot movies like Tarzan and The Creature from the Black Lagoon. In the late 30s, a man named Colonel Tui brought the monkeys in to draw more tourists. The idea was to put them on an island. Colonel Tui released uh, three pairs of monkeys right here. What Colonel Tui didn't know is rhesus macaques can swim. Some people say that no sooner that they get on the boat and pull away that the monkeys had already swum off the island. Ever since, the numbers have been growing harder and harder to control. When you have more monkeys, you have a, a greater probability of, of encounters, negative encounters with people. But these monkeys have been spotted even miles away from the river. According to the Ocala Star Tribune, one of those monkeys was hit and killed by a car here on State Road 200, about eight miles away. With the number of animals growing, you have the possibility of particularly young males leaving the park boundaries, spreading elsewhere. Florida Fish and Wildlife and the Department of Environmental Protection declined to be interviewed about efforts to address the booming population, but the DEP says it performs safety and maintenance checks every day to keep visitors safe and posts signs all over the park warning visitors not to approach the monkeys. Johnson says the agencies in charge of the park need to do more than that to protect visitors. And until they do, he says people should protect themselves. If you're at the park and you encounter one of these monkeys, you should observe it from a distance. Do not feed it. Do not approach it. Just stay away from it. In Ocala, Eric Alvarez, First Coast News, on your side.